Oh, here we go. We got another one. Turn this side up, Kirby. Yeah, baby. <laughs> I looked over and that was bear. They yeah, turn that one. side up. What's up, Fred? What's up, Kirby? We're gonna get this done today. That's it, buddy. Let's go get them. Let's go get them, man. I'm excited to fish with you. Yeah, sir. Glad yeah. What a pretty, pretty day we've been blessed with. Oh yeah. Yeah. And you said they're biting a little. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, those are some good ones, Fred. Yeah. Nice work. Yeah, little pre-scouting. Yeah. Yes, All right. Sir. Let's do the dad gum thing. Did I get it right? Yes. Let's do it. Fishing with the BGJP 163 in. Um, I tie my leaders a little different from everybody. Okay. Everybody uses a three-way swivel. Okay. I don't. You don't. What do you I use? use a single swivel and a barrel swivel. And what I do is I tie a straight line. Uh huh. Give me a loop knot, probably about eight inches. Yeah. From the swivel, then I go down about another two to three feet anywhere up to this one is about three, has a three feet leader on it. Yeah. And you tie straight on the one line. What this does is this eliminates a lot of angles. Oh. When you're fishing. Okay. With that three-way swivel, and just that for instance, you popping, you missing, you miss the fish, and then all of a sudden now that top leader is going to wrap around. Okay. Around them, and now you gotta spend time on tangles. This here has very few tangles, and you use it for using corner out jig heads with uh, slab curly. Yeah, black, quite quite the buffet. Yeah, black and chartreuse, large minnows. Large minnows. Large minnows eliminate. To me, large minnows eliminate that small fish bite. Okay. Because he'll pull it, but he can't take it. Yeah. You know, it's gonna take him a while. Right. And then all of a sudden, bam, that big fish one, he's gonna get it. He's gonna get it. Just like that one came down. Oh, well, this might be a keeper. I thought, I thought it was doing something. I it, turned and looked yeah. at that. The key, and I tell everybody this, everybody has a different method. Yeah. My method is a little simpler. Uh huh. When the tip of that pole touches that water, yeah, you set that hook. Okay, don't get excited till don't get excited. till he loads up. Yeah, you gotta load it up, That's right? It. Let him load it up because you mess around and you'll snatch him prematurely, and it might be a big fish. You just miss it. Okay, all right. So if you he might just be out. suckling on the yeah. minnow and not have that hook in his mouth. And then the smaller fish, if he can't get it, then he's gonna be sucking all day. Yeah, I got it. So if you wait, let that tip of that pole touch that water. Yeah. You got it. Okay. Oh, here we go. Touching the water. Got him. Got him. There we go. So do you utilize your forward-facing sonar much with this technique, just to see if there's maybe fish in the area or if you're at the right depth for presentation? Come on, Garmin. Yeah. The Garmin is basically has helped out trollers. Uh -huh. um, one, you can see if it's fish in the area. Two, it helps you really set your depth. Okay. Then it can help you determine by setting different depths where your more active fish are. Okay. So how did the doing the dad gum thing come about? Because that's kind of a trademark. You should have, don't you have some shirts made up and stuff like that? <laughs> huh? Uh, okay. a hat? Oh, I got a couple of hats, yeah. no shirts, and then, uh, well, I take that back. I do have it on a couple of my fishing shirts. Uh, actually, I have a neighbor from Chicago, old Jack Shorter. He, that was his phrase. I just kind of stole it and started yeah. using it. <laughs> Good guy? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He always, when I ask, hey, man, what you doing? About to go do the daggum thing. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sound like a winner. <laughs> I don't think we could ask for a better day, do you? No. 
when I first got out here, this wind was howling. I was like, oh no, that ain't what he said. <laughs> he said light and variable. <clears throat> It's nothing like that day on Grenada when I oh, was sent to Lord. cover that tournament. I was so excited because I had so much fun with you and your friends the night before. Oh, yeah. Cooking and, you know, ribbing one another. Tell me a, a bit about the club because it's called the Real Men Fishing Club. The Real Fisherman Club. R-E-E-L. R-E-E-L. Uh, -E -E Real Fisherman. Club. Real Fisherman Club. Uh -huh. And it's a good group of guys from all over oh, the yeah. area. Uh, we got All guys from Memphis, Memphis Mississippi, Illinois, Clarksville, Tennessee, uh, you know, uh, down at uh, Lake Washington. We got guys from all over. So, uh, and all age groups. Yeah. You had a lot of young bucks. Yeah. You well, know what I mean? Our youngest guy is probably about 38. Oh, 38? Yeah, he's was... our youngest. Huh, thought... That was Big Stanley. That was the big ball oh, drop. He looked like he was... 22. <laughs> uh, yeah. He's our youngest. Guy. I figured he was young. Yeah, he's our youngest and he's 38. I think our oldest member is like 70, uh, 75, 78. Uh oh, uh oh, something's going on. Okay, I think he's got it. I'm going to uh, set it. No. Got it. I did exactly what you said there. I let it go hit the water. Yep. There we got it. Yep. There you go. Now let, why don't you let that tip hit that water? He got it. Okay. I'm gonna just bring it back in there. Oh, I got it. He got it. All right. But he did. He he fluttered it a little bit, uh -huh. and I could see it. And then he I took heard it the little down. tick of the bead hitting that uh, pole. Uh -huh. And I did what you said. I didn't. Wait, he loaded it up real slowly. These BGJPs have a real soft tip. Yeah. So yeah. they can, you, a fish can take it in without feeling the resistance, correct? Exactly. Yeah. Be, I mean, if you fish with a stiffer pole, you'll find out that a lot of times you'll see a fish hit and then you wonder why he stopped because yeah. he feels that resistance. Okay. And if he feels that resistance, He'll just automatically let it go. Yeah. That's just like if he's hit in, you put your hand on that pole. Mm-hmm. He felt something different. He just, felt the vibration. That's right. So yeah. he'll stop. Okay. And all of a sudden, bam, you, you're like, man, what happened? So <laughs> the bead that I am becoming pretty keen on hearing, there it is. And uh, hear that sound? Yeah, that's the, the sound indication for when you have a... But basically, you just run your line through it uh -huh. uh, here in between these two. Uh-huh. And, 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 and then when you get a bite, you hear that rattle. When, the, when you actually get a bite, that's the sound that you hear. Yeah. And a glass bead, right? Yeah, glass bead. What this does, if you're spider rigging and you got poles out and your fishing partner walks to the back of the boat, and you're watching your side and haven't looked at his side, then you'll hear that noise. Yeah. And it'll get your attention. That's an excellent tip. You know. Thank you for sharing that, Fred. Yes, yeah, indeed. So is it uh, mandatory that everybody in the club knows how to cook? No, we just got a lot of good cooks because we got some guys that can't boil water. Are you serious? <laughs> oh, yeah. You could have fooled me that yeah. night. I, I got there at 6, <laughs> and I left at 11, and you guys were still putting stuff on the grill. I'm like, oh, I got to go. I got to fish with you guys in the morning, <laughs> and I'm about to pop. And it was delicious. You got some really good cooks in that oh, uh, yeah. group. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the, the event we had at Les House, I mean, people still trying to say, man, how can I join? <laughs> how can I join? Yeah. You know, and I just tell them, just reach out to me. You know, we have easy qualifications. One, you gotta meet the members in the club. Okay. You gotta have a boat. Uh-huh. And you gotta go. fish with us. Got it. Got it. Right, it's getting closer. Getting closer. Oh, here we go. Here we go. It's coming up. Oh, this might be a keeper. That's 12 inch, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Close? Oh, yeah, that's 12, I think. Okay. Oh. 
Oh, I got a bite. I got two bites. Oh, yeah. I got two. <laughs> <laughs> Biggest one of the day. I, I really have to thank old Jack Wells, Kent Driscoll. Yeah. Uh, and this uh, February, my first time getting to meet Jeff Smith. I gotta thank them guys, cause them guys sponsor our club. Um, you know, I went to Kent for the club, I, and uh, talked to Jeff for the club, and uh, uh, Jack Wells gave our club real big accolades uh, when we were at Les Smith's house. You know, uh -huh. uh, like I tell anybody, I, I don't really do it for myself. Yeah. Uh, I do it for them, you know, because if we can grow as a group, then, you know, it's more than, than about just me. Right. What's going to take, you think, to get more youth out here fishing? It's going to take more grown-ups to stop and quit being selfish and say, I'm going fishing. Find somebody on the street that might want to. Okay. Find somebody in the neighborhood that might want to. Make an impact in somebody. You, you got you to gotta actually, you have to reach out to them because they're not going to reach out to you. Yeah. I mean, there are plenty of kids that'll walk down the street and see you out there watching your boat. I mean, how many people have called and said, hey, come here, let me show you something. Yeah. You know, and once you start showing them, next time you come home, get ready to wash your boat, he might come up there to help you wash. There you go, yeah. And then all of a sudden, you built a relationship. Oh, here we go, here we go, yeah. One, two, set the hook. All right. Oh, I had him! I even gave it a little extra. Uh, it didn't touch the water. It didn't touch. Oh, the pole didn't. Your tip. Yeah. Uh, okay. Tip hit that All right. Water. Shoot. If that tip hit that water. You got it. I get excited. Yeah. I see. <laughs> <laughs> I get excited. All right. Tip hit the water. Yeah. But I did say set the hook, yeah. and then I counted one, yeah, two. Yeah. You got an extra two I gave seconds. I extra but, two seconds of yeah. that. But they're hitting from the back. Yeah, so they got to suck it in. They got to suck that minnow because they're sucking it in from the tail. Most live bait, when they're actively feeding, they hit from the head. And would it be a fair guesstimate that when the rod hits the water, they've already got that hook yep. Yep. pressure in their mouth right. that's putting that under the water. Right. That's the tip. That's it. That's the tip of the that's show. It. Don't set the hook uh -huh. until the... Rod tips are in the water. The water. Well, it's Mars Wednesday. Yeah. Oh, here we go. He rattled it. Let him bury it. There he's rattling again. Take it down. Hit the water. Get him. That's a good one. Well, that's a pretty good fish. Oh, yeah. He's 12 inches, isn't he? Oh, yeah. All day. I don't know how you put all the fish on my side today, but man, I want to thank you. <laughs> that was so kind. Out of all the people I've fished with, they never you're the do first that. that's done that. <laughs> thank you, Fred Rogers. What a cool cat. <laughs> yes, indeed. Hey, if you guys have any questions about pushing uh, slab curlies or slow trolling minnows. If you guys have any questions about them, leave it in the comments below. Uh, whether you want to know about the setup, the equipment, we're going to list all the descriptions below. We want you to come out here and hey, do what Fred said, man. Make a difference in a kid's life. Take that neighbor fishing. Take that son, that grandson, that daughter. Uh, get these kids out here and enjoy Mother Nature's beauty. Get and yourself some of, the best fishing. some of the best fishing in all of America on Sardis. Call my man Fred Rogers uh, and come out here and then just have a great time. I mean, it's super exciting. Get some good quality equipment. Get the rig. Watch this over and over so you get the rig breakdown. 
and have some fun outdoors. I mean, this has been a blast. I mean, just tons of fun, man. Hit that subscribe button. We appreciate you guys watching. Have a great day. And God bless. Am I right? That's it. That's Fred right. Fred Rogers doing the daggum thing. Watch my man Kirby fish eat. Thank you guys. Thanks, Fred. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching Fish Eat Live. Our mission is to demonstrate the benefits of the Fish Eat Live lifestyle. We look forward to educating, entertaining, and attracting you to the healthy lifestyle of the great outdoors. We're definitely going to have some wholesome family fun on the water every Sunday at 6 p.m. So hit that subscription and that notification bell because we want you to come be a part of this.